Hey guys, you're watching the Techno Dog channel, the most interesting gadget comparison channel on YouTube. Today, we have a fascinating comparison of the two flagships in direct competition with each other, the Honor 20 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. I'll leave links for the purchase of both models in the description box below. Before we start comparing the phones with each other, be sure to subscribe and click the bell below the video. This way, you'll be able to see new videos on the channel before anyone else. Also be sure to like and write a comment. So let's go! What makes smartphones awesome in terms of external components? First of all, both smartphones have a frameless screen. The Honor 20 Pro has a cutout for the camera in the upper corner, while the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro has a retractable camera and thus the screen occupies almost the entire front surface. As a result, 84% of the front of the 20 Pro's front side is screen, with the Mi 9T Pro at 86%. While these smartphones have similar front sides, the back surface shows that these companies approach device design from different angles. With the Honor 20 Pro, in the corner is a vertical block of three cameras and a main flash, and on the side is a smaller block consisting of a fourth camera and another flash. Below in the center is the brand name Honor, the connectors and buttons are located in familiar places for Honor fans. On the bottom is a USB Type-C port, a speaker, and a microphone. On top is a second microphone and a proximity sensor. On the right are the volume keys and the power button, which is also a fingerprint scanner. On the left is a SIM card tray, alas, without microSD support. At the top in the oval window is a proximity sensor, which some confuse with an infrared port. Unfortunately, using the Honor 20 Pro as a remote control will not work. Xiaomi decided to limit itself to a triple camera with the Mi 9T Pro. The cameras are located in the center. The main one is 48 megapixels, and a bit below it is a block of two cameras. Below those is a double flash. Also in the center bottom is the brand inscription Mi. On the right side of the smartphone is a standard power key and a volume rocker. There is nothing on the left side of the case as the SIM and card slot have moved to the bottom of the device. Next to it is a Type-C port, speaker grill, and earpiece microphone. The card tray is not even hybrid, and only holds two nano SIM cards. Like the competitor from Honor, the Mi 9T Pro does not support SD cards. At the top end, there is no IR sensor, but there is a 3.5mm headphone jack, a second microphone, as well as a front camera cover, on which there is an illuminated ringlet that acts as a notification indicator. Both smartphones are protected by Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. Aluminum frames surround the device. On the side of the Honor 20 are more compact dimensions. Nevertheless, the screen is smaller, but the difference in width is only 0.3mm. Xiaomi also turned out to be more weighty. 191 grams versus Honor's 182 grams. The Honor 20 Pro has a display with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 pixels and a diagonal of 6.26 inches and a pixel density of 412 ppi. We're a bit confused as to why the matrix in the screen is still IPS, not OLED, given that the device costs a lot of money, in the region of $540. Xiaomi wasn't playing around and installed a 6.39 inch diagonal with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 pixels in the Mi 9T Pro AMOLED. The pixel density is also at a good level, 403 pixels per inch. Both screens are protected by Gorilla Glass 5. Both smartphones are based on Android 9 Pie, but, of course, running different OS's. In the case of Honor, this is Magic 2.1. One of the main features of this update is the availability of the new Game Turbo 3.0 feature, which according to Huawei, the efficiency increased by 10%. In the list of features, you can add the ability to measure an augmented reality on both smartphones. For this, just TOF sensors are provided. There is also a video editing function using artificial intelligence, tracking health status, and connecting to sports equipment. Xiaomi remains true to its proprietary MIUI 10 shell, the default theme has received minimal changes. Some icons were redrawn, and the size of the interface elements were slightly changed. The text is more readable, and the firmware as a whole began to look more accurate. The multitasking menu has become vertically oriented. More applications are placed on one screen, a definite plus. They are unloaded from memory with a swipe to the right. 
All contextual actions, fixing the application in memory, loading in a split screen format, and opening its card in the settings are now available on a long tap. As OS innovations at the presentation, Jester control of the system was named. For the Honor 20 Pro, four main camera lenses are announced. A leading 48 megapixel module with an excellent f1.4 aperture, laser autofocus and optical stabilization, a 3x8 megapixel optical zoom lens with optical stabilization, a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a separate macro lens at 2 megapixels. The Mi 9T Pro cameras do not have optical stabilization, laser autofocus, and a super sensitive matrix for night shooting, but at least there is 2 times telephoto. However, it also makes the increase during normal shooting a trite crop from 48 megapixels, and the telephoto is only used for portraits. The wide angle lens is worse by 13 megapixels. Video recording is possible in 1080p and 2160p. The only thing Xiaomi leads in is the number of FPS when shooting. If in Honor the maximum possible number of frames per second is 60, then in Xiaomi it is already 960. However, the presence of optical stabilization in Honor 20 Pro makes it possible to shoot more smooth videos. The selfie camera in the Honor 20 Pro, in my opinion, is also more successful. 32 megapixels plus optical stabilization. The Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro received 20 megapixels and there is no optical stabilization. In terms of performance, smartphones can once again truly show themselves. The Honor 20 Pro is equipped with a bundle of 7 nanometer high silicon Kirin 980 plus Mali G76, together with 8GB of RAM and support for Game Turbo 3.0 an excellent powerful filling is obtained. Add 256 gigabytes of internal memory here and get a set that even the most experienced user will have with pleasure. The performance in the Antutu test is impressive. 300,000 points and a place in the top 20. The Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro uses the top-end Snapdragon 855 plus Adreno 640 bundle, already tested for the durability of time. The user can choose from three levels of RAM and internal memory. 6x64, 6x128, and the top 8x256GB. Powerful components allow the Mi 9T Pro to firmly occupy the top 10 devices in the Antutu rankings, scoring nearly 356,000 points. Both devices heat up no higher than 43 degrees. Throttling is not noticeable, so it does not affect the picture quality. As for communication capabilities, the Honor 20 Pro and the Mi 9T Pro, in general, are the same. Both smartphones support all the necessary communication standards, as well as dual-band Wi-Fi 802. The devices use Bluetooth 5.0, as well as an integrated NFC module. The only minor difference was the lack of radio in the Honor 20 Pro and its presence in the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. The Honor 20 Pro received a 4000 mAh battery, which made it a little thicker than the Honor 20, but had a positive effect on autonomy. With a mixed load, without games, the device gives an average of 8 hours of screen. It's almost impossible to deplete the battery within a day. Included with the smartphone is a quick charge of 22.5 watts, which charges the smartphone by 46% in half an hour, and in an hour it gains 84% of the charge. A full charge cycle lasts exactly one and a half hours. With autonomy, the Mi 9T Pro is almost in perfect order. The device is equipped with a 4000 mAh battery with support for fast charging power of 27 watts. Even with very intense use of the phone in the evening, usually an average of 35 to 40 percent of the battery charge remains. It can withstand even two days on a single charge, giving out, in total, about nine hours of active screen time. And for its volume, the battery charges really very quickly, up to 100% in 55 minutes. As you can see from the characteristics, we have two really worthy flagships, between which it is very difficult to make a choice. To make this task a little easier, I prepared the most frequently mentioned pros and cons from reviews from real users. Here is what they write. Disadvantages. Honor 20 Pro. There is no mini jack for headphones. Lack of micro SD slot. No moisture and dust protection. Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. No IR sensor. 
For Xiaomi fans, this is a significant minus. No moisture protection. Not the fastest front camera mechanism. Useless camera for macro photography. Advantages, Honor 20 Pro. Speed and performance, a lot of memory. Nice design and great colors. Compact and well-balanced body. Beautiful cameras, both the rear and the front. A good AI. Battery life. Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. Beautiful design. Completely frameless screen. Top iron. Performance. Excellent autonomy. Competitive price. According to the results, we have two excellent smartphones that are equipped with top-end filling, have good autonomy, and are able to shoot well. The only thing that can play an important role is the price. Xiaomi, as usual, excelled in this regard and surpassed all competitors, including Huawei with their Honor 20 Pro. The fact is that the Mi 9T Pro costs 400 euros, while its rival costs 600 euros. In Russia, it's about 29,000 against 42,000. And that's all for today. I want to remind you that to watch all the videos the very first, you can simply subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. And by putting a like and writing a comment, you help the development of the channel and encourage the author to release videos as often as possible. Thank you all for watching, and see you soon!